right guys all right guys i'm sorry i haven't posted in a couple of weeks i've been taking care of a lot of business i got a new project car that i'm working on as well coming soon but as you can see the car is ready to rock and roll uh, when i did those test runs before i felt like i had an exhaust leak that i fixed but it was deeper than i thought so i actually had to uh go ahead and take off the exhaust manifold and I had to get it re-decked and surfaced properly because it was not decked and so it was causing a lot of the exhaust to come out of the actual exhaust manifold and it was taken away from my boost because I was struggling around 14 psi at best and I was tuning and it just wasn't adding up right so I decided to kind of take it back to the drawing board so that's when I went ahead and took it off as you can see right here Ooh, gasket so it appears I had an exhaust leak because and it just kind of blew through that factory uh, exhaust gasket exhaust manifold gasket so I'm going to come up with a plan B I'm going to add some uh, copper ultra copper silicone to it and probably see if there's another one that can um, withstand the heat a little bit more but as you can see guys this is what we're looking like so i'm getting ready to clean that up get it resurfaced if need be and uh getting ready to rock and roll so now we got it back in i'm not going to have that annoying clacking sound that sounds like engine knock or exhaust all right so i just want to show you this so right here it's running a lot lot smoother it's just a regular lifter sound so i'm going to take up a test spin now all right so now when i did the test i actually am now boosting at around 30 psi What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set up a boost controller uh, to control the boost from my actual turbo. As you can see on my two wastegates, and as you know, I have one right here and I got one over there, that pink thing right there. My spring is 14 PSI. So this compressor housing is running all the way around, is running all the way around to the top of this. So what's happening is the PSI is giving each other more of a sandwich. So now I have actually 28 boosts, hence I was boosting 30. Now I may be boosting too much. So what I'm gonna do is put a boost controller from the top of this right here that's connected to both wastegates. The other one is right here. That way I can control and probably run it around 23 pounds of boost so I don't blow the engine as you can see. I resealed my valve cover. That's what that orange stuff is right there to prevent any leaks from the extra added pressure. I retorqued and retightened. So now we're ready to rock and roll. I'm going to go ahead and send it. And I also um, felt I also had a restriction in my actual catalyst converter from the power of the turbo. So I actually cut that right now so I can just tune it before I could connect it back so I can get the best tune as possible and I might go just straight uh, straight out the back uh, with the turbo versus coming to the top. So right now it's gonna be a lot louder because I actually cut the actual, cut it from the actual downpipe. Yeah, so here we go guys. As you guys can see, the engine is sounding like a champ. It's got my actual cooling pool, oil pool.
once I get my car finished, I'm just curious how it does this is.
do 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 do